Hey brother, welcome back to the Happy Man Coaching Channel. I'm your Happy Man Coach, Charlie McKeever. And today in this video, I want to talk to you about why your wife only gives you one word answers to questions. Why anytime you walk into the room, she seems to find a reason to walk out. And why she doesn't want to spend any time with you. Now, this is something that is reversible. It's something that can be addressed. And I'll tell you how to do that at the end of this video. But what you need to know first is that a lot of times we participate in this, that we've actually caused this. Now, before you get upset and think I'm blaming the man, let me tell you my story and then I'll give you an opportunity to tell yours. You see, I used to get defensive. I used to get upset when my wife would tell me things. I couldn't handle it. I was not emotionally safe for her, meaning she couldn't say something to me without me getting defensive or reactive, explaining why things shouldn't be that way, explaining why she shouldn't feel that way. I would correct the record. I would try to fix it. I wasn't okay with her not being okay. And that left her feeling alone. It left her feeling like she couldn't share things with me without upsetting me. And quite frankly, she didn't want to upset me. And that really just put a burden on her. So she pulled away. She shut down. A lot of times we will call this stonewalling. We'll call it uh, being uh, distant. And because we see these things outside of her, because we see her pull away and shut down and protect herself, protect her heart, we'll actually blame her for that and say, hey, why are you being weird? Why don't you want to spend any time together? Why don't you talk to me? But what we don't understand is that we've participated. And that's what I had done. I had participated in this. I had trained her to some degree to not tell me things because I couldn't handle it. But slowly over time, what I learned was that I, if I listened, if I didn't react, if I didn't try to fix it or justify my behavior or tell her why she shouldn't feel that way or tell her how she could have done it better or different, then she would be able to trust me and she opened up and she was sharing more things with me. Now, it didn't happen on my timeline. It didn't happen when I thought it should or I couldn't make it happen on demand by trying to pry the petals of the flower open. But it did slowly begin to change as I began to change because here's the secret. You can't control anyone or anything outside of you. Any attempt to control or manipulate or to get someone to do something is just going to make them close down. It's going to make them pull away. It's going to make them protect themselves. And the only thing that we have is control over ourself. And in that control, we actually can exercise a lot of influence. We can create that emotional safety for her. We can actually listen and we can be able to accept feedback. And there's part of that that we can actually learn from. We can actually be curious about and we can actually discover that what she's trying to share with us is something good, something that can be to our benefit, can benefit the intimacy and connection in the relationship. But we have to stop being defensive. We have to stop taking it personally. And we have to stop feeling like we're bad, like we've done something wrong, like, like mama is scolding us and we're bad boys. We have to realize that what she's sharing with us is her pain. She's sharing with us the hurt that she has. And if we can back away from our pain for just a moment and be able to listen to that, then that creates emotional safety. It creates connection. It creates understanding. And so I've told you my story. I want to hear your story. I want to invite you into sharing your story with me. Because like I said, here's a solution. Being able to provide that emotional safety for her, being able to provide space, being able to be non-reactive, non-defensive, is essential to healing this part of the relationship. And it's not until we go first and we listen and we give her an opportunity to purge the hurt and the pain that she's had in the past that we are able to allow her to heal, allow her to trust again, allow her to open up, which is exactly what we want. So I want to invite you into a conversation, a conversation with me, a one hour phone call where we talk about what's going on, what you're frustrated about, what you're confused about, what's hurt you. 
And I want to be able to ask you clarification questions so that you can hear yourself, just so you can hear your thoughts, your beliefs, and be able to decide whether or not those serve you and to believe and to decide whether or not you want to believe those anymore. I want to give you an opportunity to talk together so that I can share my insights, my own personal stories and the insights of men that I work with. And I want to be able to point to resources where you can begin to surface your own answers for yourself, where you don't feel bad anymore. You don't feel like you're doing something wrong. You don't feel the need to defend yourself anymore or explain why you did those things or to be able to correct the record or to fix it. Because a lot of times when she's telling us something, she doesn't want us to fix it. She just wants us to know that she's hurt. So there's a link in the description where you can pick a day and a time where we can have a one hour phone call. Pick a day and time that works best for your schedule to have a call. Set aside the time. Make this a priority. This is how change occurs. When we talk about these things together then your life will begin to change because you will begin to change. And when you change, what happens is she gets a happy, healthy, whole version of you. That's the experience that she has, and that's the one that she responds to. When you're angry, frustrated, resentful, disappointed, disapproving, unloving, that's the version that she gets of, uh, that, that's the version that she gets of you. And so I know you want to give her the happy, whole version healthy version of you. And I know you want to be happy, healthy, and whole. So click that link, set up the call, and let's talk. All right, brother. I'll talk to you soon.